I know you don't want to hear this, but that nav log that you're suffering with in training right now, it actually does matter. Hey guys, my name is Katie. I'm a professional pilot and I've been a flight instructor since 2017. And I am one of those old school flight instructors that actually believes in the nav log and pilotage and dead reckoning. And I'm going to tell you why. The first reason that that nav log is actually valuable is for situational awareness and task management. What this means is basically being able to tell where you are in time and space, being able to kind of have that sixth sense and that mental image of what's going on and being able to handle all the tasks that are required to be a pilot. So that's what a lot of being a pilot is, is task management. Adding in that nav log, adding in a map, adding in something else that you need to pay attention to and fly the airplane is going to bring you to a whole other level as a pilot. So that's important. But situational awareness. A lot of people don't realize that some of the younger people that have grown up without even smartphones, they do not have the navigation awareness that a lot of older people or older pilots have. I have had students that I have taught that literally do not know what a compass is. And before you say that's stupid, just think about if you grew up with just an iPhone and Google maps has a little red arrow on it and you don't put it together, that, that is the North pointing arrow on a compass. I have had these conversations with a lot of students. And it's just, it's really not their fault. It's just the culture and society that they grow up in. So I have had students where they plug something into a GPS and they just blindly follow it. Well, guess what? They typed in the wrong thing. So your whole idea of let's just follow GPS, the situational awareness and the task management is the check on that to make sure that it's correct. The second reason that that nav log actually does matter is for GPS outages. Now I've had this happen many times as a pilot. We've been up in the flight levels, all kinds of different airplanes going major speeds, and we have had GPS outages where we're all on headings, right? So obviously ATC was involved and that helped out, but I have had times where I've just navigated on headings, even as a professional pilot. You need to be able to look at the terrain and be like, oh, there's Lake Tahoe. Yes, I'm going north. This heading makes sense. Idaho is that way, okay? That's what you're paid to do. If you cannot do that, why do we even have you in the airplane? And as we move forward in you know, whatever conflict we get into in the future, if you don't think that satellite jamming and GPS outage is gonna be a part of this, you're wrong, okay? So we all need to be prepared for this in the future. Also, a lot of the airframes that people fly, they don't realize that they don't even have GPS in them. So there are pilots right now in 757s and 767s without GPS, flying those things all around the globe. And I think that's honestly really cool because they are professionals. That is what they're paid the big bucks to do. And they know where they are and they can navigate with other means, which is really cool to me. Another reason why that nav log is important or the dead reckoning skill or navigation skill in general is important is for emergency situations. So part of what being a pilot is, is just being able to handle anything that might occur in an airplane. If you have some equipment go out, or let's say the equipment is malfunctioning and it's telling you to go a certain direction, which I have had this occur, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't pass the sanity check. You need to be confident in your ability to say, I know that's wrong. That's the wrong heading. I'm not going that way because the plane's gonna try to fly me into a mountain. So again, this is a skill that develops over time. I was in the military. We did land navigation on the ground with a pencil and a, paper, a map and a piece of paper and a pace count. And there's a big amount of confidence that comes from you in the middle of the night with a red light and a map just off in the woods, walking five clicks and walking right up on your point and knowing that your skill was sharp. Same thing applies in an airplane. Again, I have been on approaches where the autopilot malfunction and it just takes a left on the ILS. If you're not confident that you know that's the wrong direction, clicking that autopilot off and turning a hard direction against what the plane is telling you to do could be really dangerous. So your situational awareness is important. And again, that is what makes a pilot and a, pro a professional pilot such a valuable asset in the cockpit. Another reason the nav log is important and understanding the situational awareness, this, this navigation piece is important is that it creates another safety link in the chain. So let's say, you know, a lot of student pilots will tell me, well, I have air traffic control. Like they're just going to tell me where to go. Do you think air traffic control has ever told you the wrong heading or the wrong way to go or almost run you into another airplane or almost run someone into a mountain? That has happened before. And there are times where you need to look at what they're telling you and say, hey, I'm gonna need like 30 degrees right for this train. Now it's very rare, right? I'm not trashing ATC, amazing professional people, but they're just a person, okay? Your butt is up there in the sky. And if they tell you to turn right and it's gonna take you into a big rock face or 
whatever the case may be, or send you the wrong direction, then you need to be aware of that. It just is an added piece of safety and you need to have that skill. You're not just blindly following a magenta line as much as you may think that that's what aviation becomes as a professional pilot, you're not. And overall, as we move towards airplanes that may not even have pilots in them, this is part of our skill set. So I know that the nav log sucks. I know it's annoying, but you are learning things that are going to increase your situational awareness, increase your task management, make you a safer pilot and make you more marketable in the future and give their the argument of why we should keep pilots in these airplanes. So I hope that helps you. I know it's annoying. I'm the kind of person that if I'm learning something, especially if it sucks, I wanna know the why. So hopefully this helps you along the way in your training.